So it's the second session we saw of teaching her to catch the frisbee. We started really basics. Firstly, is for take it. Took a wall we did last time. Just create interest in it. So we've already done that. We'll make it as much fun as possible because she has to enjoy doing it. It has to be a fun experience. So, you made it fun. Hopefully she likes it, which she definitely does now. Last time we looked at take it. So she had that idea. We did that because it was similar to actually catching it. It's a really similar idea. You're sort of presenting it for her to take it. And that works really well as a second stage. Now, we want to work on the actual catch itself. We did one successful catch last time. That's it. I'm just going to flick the actual face with my fingers just slightly, rather than say take it. So she took that nice and easily. So that's the first start on the catch. So again, just flick it in your fingers. Yeah. So she's just catching it, she's picking it out of the air. Now making it as easy as possible on purpose. So, so again, she caught that three from three. We want to make it as simple and as fun as possible because you're building on success. Sit. Yeah, nicely done. So we're not adding in lots of distance. Next Sit. Just do it very incrementally. So again, don't make it too hard. She's not going to catch it every time. Yeah, yeah. Sit. Nicely done. So let's make it gradually harder. It's like teaching Zara to remember England cricket team. Really. Sit. They're just learning the skill and working on the coordination for the catch. What's the best for her? Yeah. Yeah. Sit. Much better, really good. Well done, Zara. 